All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, glory, and honor that's due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chahakwadash, double honor to the elders and apostles of the millstone who well. Peace and blessing to the 144,000 and the hopeful elect, Shalom, Barakatam. And what you're looking at here is uh, the latest album of an artist by the name of Glorilla, all right? And this is unequivocal proof that the Christian church is out of gas. Okay, and it's basically just more confirmation that they 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 never had light in them. Okay, <laughs> all right. There was never any light in the Christian church. Okay, and eventually these things come out, and you got guys like Vocab that come up and try to condemn and and confound, you know, us for preaching, you know, basically the gospel. All right, but they're hypocrites. Okay, this this is. This is unequivocal proof, and I just thought about it. I should have picked this precept. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, okay. <laughs> yep. Ezekiel 37 and 8 okay now if you know about the the uh, this chapter Ezekiel 37 this is representing the remnant waking up and coming back to back to the knowledge you know like in the Christian church they'll say you're born again okay and and then you put off the old man you know you basically have to grow up again okay and Apostle Paul spoke about that you know when I was a child I spoke as a child you know but 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 here you are regressing <laughs> you know because why let's read ezekiel 37 and 8 and when i beheld lo the sinews and the flesh came up on them and the skin covered them above but there was no breath in them now when you look up that word breath it should be rawak or racha i believe yep okay now when you go into the book of Genesis and you speak of, and you hear about Adam all right the breath of life was breathed into Adam and it's not talking about literal breath like he had no actual breath and his lungs didn't you know expand and contract it's talking about the spirit okay which is likened to a, a, a wind or a breath all right and so these people these Christians they never had any breath in them they got up they picked up the Bible they started you know shouting and picking up tamarines and playing the organ and doing all of this blah 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 all right but they but they never had the the spirit of the lord was never in that place okay and i grew up in that nonsense you know you know for the better part of 25 years <laughs> okay and the controversy here with glorilla you can see on her latest album she has gospel singers on it kirk franklin Chandler Moore, Kiera Sheard, all right, and uh, Kiera Sheard is the daughter of a uh, of a uh, one of the Clark sisters, man, and they were and they're still popular to this day, you know. Um, and you know she'd be married to her, that's her name, uh, and Maverick City Music, which I've never heard of because I haven't listened to gospel music in, in you know in fifteen twenty years, man, you know. Um, and uh, not 15, 20 years. I, I would say probably, uh, you know, yeah, going on, going on, going on 15 years. You know, heard very, very sporadically. But look, you have this woman now. If you know who Glorilla is, okay, you'll you'll understand the controversy. Now, this is all over TikTok about about uh, you know, people going in on it. You know, basically, but. We could have told you that there was no breath in the church, that, that, that this place, it's a scam, okay? And the Lord has a way of, 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 of revealing, you know, people that, that, uh, that take advantage of, of the scriptures, man, all right? All of you people that, that think you have the truth and that think you know that you got understanding, well, eventually it's going to be found out, okay? And how are we going to be vindicated through prophecy? All we got to do is wait and keep bringing out the scriptures 
and we're going to be vindicated, man. We're going to be confirmed to Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai. Okay? But you can see it here on track eight, Rain Down On Me, which is an old song. I haven't heard it, but we know Rain Rain Down On Me was, was a, a very popular song. Even in the secular world, people were singing this song. It was a gospel song by Kirk Franklin. All right? And... And I, I, I suspect it's because she's from Memphis, and you know Memphis is a very big gospel music mecca, okay? I used to go to a, a, a big conference or a congregation down there in the Church of God in Christ when I was uh, young. Every year they would go up there, we would rent out hotels, everybody would flock there, man, okay? They got something called Mason Temple, and you know, there was a guy named C.H. Mason, all right, that, that started that congregation of Christianity, you know, I think Martin Luther King even preached there one time, you know, so it's like a big thing to go down there in Memphis every year and then, you know, but, but it's all bull, man. Let's get some precepts. Okay. <laughs> Cause we, we know that this place is, is out of here, man. All right. This is second Corinthians chapter six, verse 14. Be ye not equally unequally yoked with unbelievers for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness. All right. And what communion have light. With darkness, yeah, because the, the Glorilla is a dark individual, man. You listen to some of the lyrics that she has, okay? She took it back from these Amalekites, and 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 they they will they they will s s l u t her out basically, <laughs> you know, from spiritually speaking, they they they've sold her, man, on every corner. They, they, she, there's nothing that she won't say. There's nothing that she won't say. Goodness, bro. Sheesh, my bad, my dog back there. Um, Cause look at it, who else she's got on here? Lotto, <laughs> Sexy Red on the same album. Okay, T Pain, <laughs> Meg Thee Stallion. The she Meg Thee Stallion, Sexy Red, Lotto, and Glorilla. That that's the, the <laughs> that's the new uh, 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 four horsemen of lasciviousness, man. Okay, the new four horsemen of lasciviousness. All right, which is which is we'll, we'll get the definition of it soon. All right, and it says verse fifteen. And what concord has Hamashiach with Belial? Okay, which is a demon. All right, or what have he that believeth with an infidel? This woman doesn't believe, man. So why why is the Christian Church collaborating with her, man? And she. This same spirit is on a lot of other Hebrew Israelite groups. They're trying to fellowship with the darkness of this world, man. Rubbing elbows with podcasters and, 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 and gang members and rappers and celebrities. Okay. You, you're going to get marked along right along with them. All right. Verse 16. And what agreement have the temple of the Most High with idols? Because it, it's all idolatry, man. All right. It says, for ye are the temple of the living power. All right. I mean, we don't need a church. We don't need a uh, uh, we don't need a building. That's what I mean. All right. Because we're the temple. OK. We're the temple. All right. And it says and the most high hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them and I will be their power and they shall be my people. See, the Lord does not dwell in Christians. Christianity is, is, is just a, a means of controlling people. By this belief in a higher power that they have no accountability to. They have no there's no accountability in Christianity whatsoever. You can do whatever you want. And you'll be you'll be forgiven no matter what. Slavery, all right, mass murder, whatever it is, you can just you'll be forgiven. You'll go to heaven as long as you confess that, that BS name C H R I S T. All right. Verse 17, wherefore come out from among them. All right. Did they come from out among them? No, they went back into them because they need money, man. The, the Christian church is dried up, man. There's no breath in those people. Okay. And, it, and it's a big money grab. Wait till the, wait till the, the news comes out on TDJ. So I know that nigga scared right now with Diddy in the news. All right. We know that nigga's a freak. You can just tell. All right, it says, Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, Yahweh, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. So what, what does that mean? That means you're going to be rejected. You're not going to be received. 
you're not going to be received, okay? <laughs> when all hell breaks loose and calamity hits, the Lord is going to literally just reject you. Not only reject you, but he's going to be laughing, okay? All right? And it'll be our laughter that you'll hear, the men of the Lord, the ones that labor, the ones that get uh, uh, mocked and cast down on. All right? It says, and I will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty, okay? You see? And you see, this is, uh, nope, I didn't want that. Yeah, I had John 15, uh, verse 15 and 18. If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. And this is proof that Glorilla doesn't hate them. That's why they get a feature, <laughs> okay? What does that mean? That means the, the so-called Christian church is not of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai. They're of the world. They're just another variation of, of, of this world, which the Lord has promised to come destroy. Now, you got to ask yourself, if the Lord is coming to destroy the world, and I'm fellowshipping with those that are clearly of the world, what does that mean for me? That's what you should be asking yourself, okay? It says... But because you are not of the world, I have cho but I have chosen you out of the world. Out of, okay? Therefore, the world hated you, <laughs> okay? Keep going, not to make this too long, all right? It says, but 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, a peculiar people. Does this look royal or priestly or anything? Okay, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So he called us out of darkness. Okay, you're the dog that returned back to his own vomit. Okay. And you shouldn't really be surprised by this. Because the Christian church has, has been scamming you for years, man. Decades. All right. It says, verse 10, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of the Most High, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Now, do you think the Lord is going to have mercy on a person that knows about the scriptures, but you choose to, to associate with, with, with wicked, demonic individuals? Okay. No. Absolutely not. Verse 11, dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul. This couldn't be more clear, you know? And they and these Christians, they know, they know better, man. Even they know better. But they need money. They need attention. They need clout. They need to stay relevant. We don't we don't give a damn if you feel relevant to you people. We already know what's coming is coming no matter what, whether we're out there or not. The scriptures say, if you don't go preach the gospel, I'll call the rocks to cry out. Okay? So we don't need clout. We don't need clicks. We don't need uh, 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 clickbait titles. Okay? We don't need acknowledgement from people of the world, of, of people of high status in this world. We don't need none of that, man. Okay? Verse 12, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify the Most High in the day of visitation. All right? So by your good works, that's how you're supposed to be separated from the Gentiles, man. Your conversation is supposed to be honest. But they're going to look at you and say, look, you're 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 doing a feature with a woman that that has a song called Nut Milk, man, or a Nut Quick or something like that. All right. I was gonna look up that word lascivious dish and then and then basically ended here. The point was made, pretty much, you know. find it um, 
Asalegia. Asalegia. Okay. Unbridled lust. That's what lasciviousness is. Excess. Licentiousness. Lasciviousness. Wantonness. Outrageousness. Shamelessness. Insolence. That's what these people are. From Lotto to Sexy Red to Meg the Stallion to Glorilla, they all, that's what they represent. And here the, the so called Christian church is doing a feature with them. All right, I'll end it there. Lord willing, this is edifying. Call Hello, Yahweh Bashimi, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachakwadash, Shalom, on to the next.